Hi there, I wanted to share what I experienced after I was given the BTFLs as a gift for my birthday in December. Um, I like a variety. I own a pair of the Lollies by Moxie. The Moxie games in uh, California. I have a pair of the Ivy Jumpers as well. What I've done, stop it. What I've done is I've made some changes. Like for instance, I bought some um, pulse wheels from off of Amazon and replaced those from the for the um, original Moxie gummies, the 78 at Adam 78 A's that came with the um, the Ivy Jungle. So that's what you're seeing there. But there are some significant differences between the BTFL, the beautiful skates. These skates are really pretty. I made a slight comment that I really like them and I had someone to make them, to purchase them for me as a birthday gift. But they're in comparison to the Abbey Jungle. Okay, but these skates, I really want to love because they're beautiful. I bought these toe caps from Aesthetically Rolling on Etsy. Her name is Aesthetically, Aesthetically Rolling. She did a marvelous job. She was super fast with the shipping. I got them in like two or three days from the time that I made the purchase. And she was very, very reasonable. Now, um, these toe caps I have on my lollies came from Abby Roadkill. She's out of Dallas. And they are well crafted. They're beautifully done. Her workmanship is, is excellent. But her shipping time was a bit delayed. As, um, but aesthetically rolling, she was on the spot. Her, the packaging was superb for both of them. The first thing I noticed when I um, went to lace up the toe caps on my BTFLs is that the laces on them are not waxed. They're not waxed, they're not flat, and they moved whenever I was trying to push them through the eyelets to turn, to, um, to install the toe caps onto my beautiful skates. So the laces moved. That was the first indication that there were some subpar qualities about these skates. Then once I had them laced up and on, I noticed that they weren't sturdy. I didn't feel as safe and secure. Around the boot area, they tend, they seem to be, they just weren't as secure as uh, the others. Now here is the BTFLs, which has this like ankle guard, which is really full of foam. The older, this is the first model of the um, Ivy Jungle. They don't have that, but the later models do. But the lollies, of course, they do have that. But this did not snug my ankle like the lollies do. Now, as far as down here in the support area, they were not snug at all. And my foot just seemed to like wobble within the shoe. And um, that was kind of frightening for me. When I, I ended up skating for like 20 minutes, I took them off. I fell and busted my head. And because I'm afraid of getting hurt, I'm 50 years old, I can't afford to be hurt. I really looked at the, 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 um, the way the trucks and such were constructed. And there are some big differences. First of all, the plates on these are hollow. And you can tell within, I'm not sure if you can see, but they're really hollow underneath. So they are not, uh oh, I got a little stain here they are not going to be as sturdy as the Moxie Lollies or the Moxie Ivy Jungles. Huge difference. And then look at the bushings or the cushions or however you want to um, refer to them as, but they are not nearly as ample as the Lollies and the Moxies. Huge difference, enormous difference. Um, they're as pretty as they can be, but there are some things about this skate that shows me that the people who constructed them were more interested in the cosmetic portion, making sure they were pretty as opposed to sturdiness. These skates are nowhere near the substantialness of the Ivy Jungles 
or the lollies. There's no way. The, the fringe also came from Abbey Roadkill out of Dallas. I got them through Etsy. So nonetheless, I wanted to let everybody know that the price point for the BTFLs, the beautiful skates, are the same as the Moxie Bunnies or the Ivy Jungle, but they are they don't even come close to the quality of either of these skates. Now, um, Estrogen Jennifer, the owner of Moxie, she is a skater, so she I watched some of her videos. She knows what she's doing, what she's referring to when it comes down to the wheels, um, the type of wheels that are necessary, the quality of the, of the wheels and what have you. Um, I don't know anything about the composition of this wheel, how it was made of the quality of the products. But uh, these skates look really pretty, but I simply do not trust myself with them at all. There are some serious differences immediately that I can feel and the most di most of the differences are right here around the ankle and how they snug you. This was not snug and around the moxie lollies and also the ivy jungles. They're very, very snug. They really support. They feel as if they're a part of the foot. The BTFLs, they do not feel like they're a part of the foot. They felt like an oversized like boot that may have been too wide and I could not make any adjustments. So I wanted to share this with you all. The price point is on point. Um, they're really, really pretty, but as far as feeling it as if I am safe or safer with them, I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. So um, I'm gonna return these and see if we can get our money back on this and then go ahead and invest me a pair, invest in a pair of jack boots that I've been eyeing. So I want to give you guys my update on this. Okay, I plan to make more videos with myself and my Papillon Zoe as we learn to do more things. I'm not able to do anything but skate forward. I can't skate backwards. I can't do any tricks, but I'm going to learn how. See you in the next video.